Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. It is Tuesday, June something or another. I don't know. Does it matter? It don't matter to me. Ooh, I've already been out working up a sweat. Uh, I didn't get to do anything Sunday or Monday. I woke up Sunday, my hand could not use it. It's something that happens when you got severe carpal tunnel. It just wouldn't let me do anything. So well, we're going to get started this morning. Uh, I already have. Got the shade screen over the tomatoes because we have got 105, 106 degrees for the next four days. So this is 20 by 20. Got it strung pretty tight. Wasn't enough that I didn't have anything to attach it to up there. Didn't really care. So we just kind of hung it down there. Give it some morning view. So we'll see how these tomatoes do. These are Romas. Didn't know what it was, but those are definitely Romas. It's full. I gotta come in here and, well, see if I can do this without breaking it. Yes, sir. Put that in there. And everything is doing good, guys. But we are getting ready to go inside and start tearing some things up. Let's go in in here and see what difference this makes. And this is a 40% shade screen, so it's still going to allow for it to get plenty of sun. Uh, you know, it's going to come down here in the evenings. It's going to get a little bit. This is going to keep it out of the hot sun of the afternoon that I think destroyed my tomatoes out there last year. So we're going to try to prevent that. You know, if this don't work, you know, there ain't much you can do. Uh, got some ripening up. I did cut some off yesterday that were green. Took them in to ripen. Uh, man, these guys are just loaded. They're just loaded down. Got one over here that's ripening. Getting the, oh, we have a casualty. I'll take that in. Let it ripen. Give it to the chickens or eat it. And it's coming along. So this ought to, about the 11 o'clock sun, this will protect them from. I don't know what else to do with it. It's fine, just hanging like that. And uh, we'll see how it does. All right, and all I did here is pound in a couple of T-posts and took some wire on the eyelets and wired it to the pole. And then up there, I went to the hardware store this morning and bought some eye hooks. Actually, you could call them like half eye hooks. And those will just slip on there. So as long as we don't get 10 inches of snow, we're going to be fine. Get off out of there. Get off out of there. It doesn't want to get off of there. All right, guys. Keeping up with this yellow. Something else. Everything else doing pretty good. Yeah, look at that oregano going to seed. All right. Starting to get really hot. It's going to be 97 today. And then the next three days, it just lets it go. 110 heat index. I don't want to be out. I'm probably going to you know, I, I check on these guys. They're in under there where the solid roof is. It's just as shady can be. In the hottest part of the day, it's just shady and cool as can be in there. I wouldn't say cool, but there really ain't a lot I can do for them, you know. And I was reading the worst thing you can do for a dog when they're hot is soak them in water because that just shocks their system. You just, you can lay a wet towel down, let them lay on it. I check them out throughout the day, make sure that their water is inside there with shade. And I stick my finger in it, and it's cool. So in the evenings, I bring it out here. That shade screen does more than you think it does. And it's probably about 85 right now, so they're out playing. You know, you, you can watch their behavior and tell. Uh, no, there, there's not much I can do. You know, the heat's going to do what it does. And I'm going to just, you know, take care of them the best I can. They will survive. All right, let's get in the house and get to work. All right, gonna have to excuse the noise of the air conditioner and the fan. I ain't turning that off. So here's the uh, here's what we got going today. I'm gonna try to get that down up here. Let's get up in here. I'm gonna tear this down. Shouldn't be too hard. Where it's gonna get a little rough is when I get to take these beams out because they're ring shank nailed in there and. But I, I should be able to get it out. Once I get this out of the way, I can whoop, I'll probably get a sawzall blade in there and cut that nail. Is what I'm hoping. 
but we're tearing all this out we're tearing this bar top out of here you got to get rid of these bar stools these were very expensive these were like a hundred bucks a piece solid wood but I got no use for them and I know I'm not gonna put them on Facebook marketplace nobody ever shows up or especially when you're selling a vehicle oh yeah hold it for me hold it for me no I just do sink throw them in the trash before I do that who is it dusty up here and I think for the most part I'm gonna leave the wall for now gotta get this picture down I actually got nails right over there the little screws in the hole where that's where it was and I'll put it back over there for now I'm probably gonna leave this wall alone uh, as well as this this has to come out that has to come out my thinking now is just I want my stove here that way I can get a vent put it right out the house there and this floor is coming up as well too so if I get my stove here and then have a closet here pantry closet whatever I want to put in it but it's only going to come out to about here not very probably not even this far but I haven't got to that point yet let's get it tore out of here I do got to order new wire for the stove that is not rated that's 10 gauge I need 6 gauge it's a very minimum 8 gauge uh, but I'm probably going to go with 8.4 or 6.4 it's got 4 wires on it that's all I know and then once I get up in here I've got speakers really nice outdoor indoor speakers they're coming out I will probably reuse them upstairs on the loft patio those are some pretty expensive speakers there's also a light up here so that's probably going to get used again we'll see and this pole is coming out all this is coming out that pole has to stay that is a support pole uh, if you ever watched any of my seen any of my pictures this whole loft was sagging when I got the place so I had to jack it up put support beams we got one there I got one there there's one there one there this has to stay there's one right here in the corner and that loft ain't going nowhere so all this is coming out this is coming out the raised floor is coming out kind of scared to see what's underneath that floor all the little rats and stuff been coming in hope I got a nest of rattlers under there if there is I'll bring you a nice video on that all right let me set this camera up on a tripod and get to work uh, no time limits here I don't even know what I'm gonna do yet so. this I used Phillips head screws Phillips head screws suck I knew that I went and bought a new bit a lot of this little stuff is going to be firewood not a lot I can do with it I hate to say it. I smell 
rat urine. Not what I wanted to find. So this is also my chance to get rid of that. If he's still up there. I don't see why I haven't heard him in a long time. But I definitely smell something. This is where I sprayed all the spray foam in. Alright, let me get back to tearing this up. Alright. Little spider webs in there. It ain't gonna take me long to get this down. A lot of this was just tacked in with uh, Brad Naylor, but once everything was framed, it was very, very strong. Uh, now I can see, I can probably pry that out, no problem. It's shrunk up over time. And these I plan to put under the eaves on the upper loft up there, and that's gonna be cool. I thought these were Boses all this time, and they're JBLs, they're still good. Good outdoor speakers. These things thump, and I've got a Bluetooth stereo that I had hooked up to them. So I put them under the eaves. They're never going to get wet under there, so that would be a good place for them. So I've got all this wood. Some I may use, some I may not, but i got to pull all these little nails out. I'm going to stack it, get, it, get all this down, and then I'm going to haul it out and put it somewhere safe where I can reuse it. And uh, I'll probably leave the ceiling for now. I want to get this whole wall out of here. But that means to get the whole wall out, I got to disconnect the stove. But it's going to have to be disconnected anyway. So what I'm probably going to do is go buy a. Uh, I have I, ha I had a couple of hot plates. I gave them away. I'm gonna go buy a nice hot plate, and because this kitchen's probably going to be torn down for months. And I probably don't even want to use that oven. Uh, half the buttons don't work on it. It's very hard. I can't even get the oven to work anymore. So there's no sense in keeping it. So we'll pull it, get it out of here. And uh, I mean, the stove top works great, but nothing else does. You know, if I want to make my tuna noodles, I can't do it. I can't put a pizza in the oven. Though I, don't, I haven't ate a pizza probably since October. Oh, they sound good though. So anyway, and then I'm going to tear this little wall. Oh, I got my toaster oven. and Hey, I got my toaster oven. Didn't even remember that. There's some other towels. I forgot about the toaster oven. So that replaces, that, that, that takes care of that. So then I'm going to get this wall out of here. Uh, this post. All right, GoPro battery went dead. I don't know how long I was yakking. But like I said, I just found my toaster oven. So... I forgot all about having that. That's a brand new. So I'm going to get this wall out, this pole, this whole thing. Get this out. <sighs> I'm going to get that out. My hope says I can put a, uh, like a love seat or a couch here. I had one here before. Maybe if I got to redo the living room a little, I will. What do you think of that, Rooster? She doesn't care. All right. Let me get the rest of this down. Thank you. beams weren't nothing really got all them out now we're gonna go with the bar top uh, I definitely saw when I was prying on something I don't know he's in there somewhere but I'll tell you what I'm also gonna do is I've had a problem with the last several several years right in here is where my water lines come down and I made a mistake on them. I had them accidentally on the outside of the insulation. So I need to switch that. I need to wrap those elbows where they 90 degree down so they don't freeze anymore. So that's going to give me the chance to do that. Even if I leave this, which I probably ain't, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it apart, take that piece of sheetrock behind there off, 
and get it fixed right and I won't ever have to worry about that again so all this is gone hey you can see my there I forgot I had a roasting pan there it is got to watch these nails and screws that cabinet's going to probably have to come down as well because it's going to look funny you know it's just going to be if the kitchen's coming out to here now well, that's going to look pretty funny right there so I'm going to have to I'm going to carefully try to take it down. I don't know how well I can do that and maybe reuse it somewhere else. If not, rebuild it again. So it's going to be a mess. So now I got to clear this counter off, get all these screws. Hopefully I used, I didn't use Phillips screws in these bar tops and they're going to be, it's going to be something to try because there's 10 coats of polyurethane here. No, those are, I believe that's the star. Let me see, I got that on there. No, they're Phillips. Ah, they're square. It's those square ones, so I gotta find a bit for that. Alright, we'll get this off. And get this all opened up. Alright, all the screws, well, on this piece, came up, so Phillips. But under here, I use the stars. Let's get off their microphone. How much crap does a man need in his pocket? Well, where did it go? I just had it. In the bit. There it is. It's in my bit pocket. All right. Glasses. And we gotta take the screws loose to the top. Oh, fire cut. What do you mean? There you go. That's loose. What? <laughs> I invented that language right there. Yeah. Well, one of these. Oh, for goodness sake. Who built this? Don't step on that screw. Ain't the bit. Well, how did you get that in there? That ain't the right. Ah. Different bit, different bit. I did this just to make myself mad later. Well, that ain't it. Now, how am I gonna get that one loose? Ah. The board's in the way. Oh, fuck, I'm crying out loud. Well, I nailed it and screwed it. What? Get out of my way. How did I get that in there? Well, why, why, why? I'm gonna womp you with a hammer. That's what I'm gonna do. Ah. Oh. All right. And that's something I cannot find is my hammer. This. You stuck in there with. Get on my hill. Oh, I don't want to tear that off. Come on, come on. Bet we can get it out. <laughs> I knew we would. 
What is this? Oh. Did I forget a screw? Here so. No. You Phillips head. Trying to salvage this piece of wood because it's nice. And these aren't actually Phillips. They're the ones that take the Phillips head or the little square, but you could still use a Phillips to get them out. Man, where else is it attached? Gotta be it. Nope. And I can't find a hammer, so. Alright, this has gotta come off. If you're gonna tear it up, tear it all up! Alexa, what am I doing? You're talking to me. Oh, you're a smart ass. Did you hear that, guys? Uh. Alexa, are you a smart aleck? I try my best. Yeah, I know you do. All right, guys. Let me work on this a while. Come back. All right, I got the bar top loose. Woo! <sighs> Gotta watch for UPS. The guy pulls in yesterday, drives around my truck to turn around, smashes my French drain. Boy, I was upset. I gotta replace that part. I was not happy at all. I said, well, that's the reason nobody drives up there. Why well, I have my truck there. Uh, wasn't my normal driver. Uh, I don't know what. What's holding you, Mac? At this point, I just want it all there. Right. This is some heavy... Heavy cedar. Ugh. Take this right outside here in a minute. I'll tell you what, this wasn't going anywhere. Not anytime soon. Alright, one more piece. I couldn't get that screw out, so I'm going to have to manhandle it. Manhandle it. <laughs> oh, my thumb don't bend that way. Where's my hammer? Well, get here. There we go. I'm gonna lift it up. Scooter, scooter down. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I got all the screws out. Yeah, because this is only like a little wide area here. To... Iron she went. Put a little man on it. It ain't gonna. Yeah, it ain't gonna stay. You gotta put a little man on it. Oh. Oh. Oh, all right, I'm gonna put some more man on you. Come on out of here. Ooh, don't knock your don't, don't knock your clock off. I knew that piece would be in the way. All right. There we go. 
You get under him. I know it! I know it! And the top's off. Whew. Yep, there were some screws I didn't get. Alright. Now. Oh, I got my headlamp on. Sorry, guys. Hard to see on that brown bar top. Come on now, now. Alright. That was some work. Now I wish it didn't have the raised floor because I built this for a raised floor. Otherwise, I'd probably leave the wall. But no, I need, it needs to come out anyway for the stove. But uh, might be able to keep part of the wall. I don't know. So I think right now we're going to hold off on the rest of this till I'm going to get the floor up next. I'm going to get these out and get this stuff out of here. Let's see what we can get today. I'm not in no rush. So bar tops off. This is all down and opened up. Uh, that's probably that isn't staying. So we're going to when I do it again, it's going to be nice. You know that part of the kitchen come out good. I want the rest of it, and the kitchen's only going to come out to about here. That's only because I want my stove on the wall so I can vent it out without having to go through that little weird roof in there. Alright, I'm going to eat some lunch, come back and finish this dude up. Alright, I got that tore out. I just got to get them posts out of there. Uh, I'm going to start, well, next thing I'm going to do is get this pole out and that. And then start getting this floor up uh, because I think that's holding part of that up. I don't know. And now we got a severe thunderstorm warning. So, looks like it's getting all ready to thunderstorm. Looks like it's already raining over there. We'll see what happens. We could use a little rain. I just don't want all the bull crap that comes with it lately. Lightning and tornadoes. Yeah, get a little thunder. All right, I'm gonna keep at it, guys. Well, here comes the rain. You guys better go get in your doghouse. It's coming. Now, now the GoPro settled down. I don't know what was going on with it. I don't know. Go get in your doghouse. We're getting hit. Here it comes. There it is, right there. It's coming. All right. Yeah, I took that. That thing picked up that whole brick and broke the wire. So I just got it wired to a brick to hold it. And here it comes. There's a loose limb right there. What? Ooh, that rain feels good. It's been cool all morning. It hasn't got past 80. I like this being under here. Yeah. Don't rip up my screen on the first day storm mother nature you old bit uh, i better hush ah, man look at it look at it pick up the brick it's picking up the brick man holy crap i'm gonna fix that <laughs> i was out there getting another brick to set on there and boy a bowl of lightning come down I come hurrying in. Look at it. Don't blow all my meters over. Get that light off. Oh, no, look at this. These storms were never like this before, man. We'd get one like this every now and then. Oh, my God. What was that? They're just crazy anymore. You can't tell me things ain't changing. There goes my tarp for my mower. I mean, you just can't build things strong enough. Holy crap. 
Yeah, them two bricks are holding so far. Goodness, goodness, man. Y'all seeing it firsthand. There were some strong winds. Some dramatic, ain't it? Ooh, I just put that up this morning, man. No break on me. Okay, be done with the wind. Pretty good gust. Yeah, you don't have to tell them puppies twice in a storm. All right, guys, I'll come back and get that good. at a stopping point uh, I got to get all this lumber out of my way and I can't do that at the moment it's raining got to find a place to put it that's always a challenge but we got that whole thing out oh this is what I did when I built stuff little uh, show you I take a snuff can and put a quarter a dime a nickel you know a penny for someone somebody tears it apart years later they discover it and I didn't even film that did I yeah there's they're behind the walls everywhere so I would, didn't think I'd be the one finding it all right so now what we're gonna do next probably is get the rest of this floor up I'm not gonna do that yet right now today that'll be in tomorrow's video get all them boards off the wall well I don't really need to do that right now I can leave them for now uh, we're gonna there's another row of screws on these boards underneath the floor, so I got to get the floor up now uh, All right, I don't know what's going on GoPro battery died again That's the second one man. That thing should have lasted for half the day. They don't so just in case I didn't get that last clip uh, We're just gonna call it good for the day. I got nowhere to put my wood Tomorrow we're gonna work on getting this wall out getting this pole out getting the floor out getting all the floor joists out and hopefully this part out and then I can get it all cleaned up look at it do some pondering and figure out what I'm gonna do with it all right guys where are you rooster did you want to say did you want to say hi to everybody that's Thundu yeah she don't care happy trails